folks, I'm Corey, and I work at Positive Approach to Care. I recently was talking to someone who was living with dementia, and she was telling me about all the different ways that she sets up some cues and some checks and balances to make sure that she gets to the appointments that she needs to get to and remembers to do the things that she needs to do. With so much going on in our lives between work and leisure time, making sure we get enough rest and restoration, it's easy for things to get mixed in the shuffle. So what she was telling me is that all of the methods that she's used to get to this point are all based on things that she's always done in her life, like post-it notes are a really great example. So today I thought I would spend a little time sharing with you what I do to help me remember things so that you might think about things that would work for you based on what you've always done or if you're supporting someone who's living with dementia find out more about the things that they've always done to help them get to where they need to be and see how those apply to what you're currently doing to figure out what's helpful and what's not helpful as you're watching this video i'd like for you to think about what kind of learner you are for me, I'm a kinesthetic learner, and part of that means that I am always on the move. So what works really well for me is to have visual verbal cues placed in different places around the house so that it's easy for me to recognize that something needs to be done. What I'm about to show you are some images of notes that are posted around my house that help me remember to take care of my business when I'm at home. This first image probably won't come as a surprise to you. It's a list. We keep this list for our groceries on the counter next to the refrigerator so that anytime we run out of something or we think of something new we want to get, we add it to the list and when it's time to go to the store, we know exactly what we need to purchase. Whiteboards are another really handy tool to have around the house. On the left, you'll see an image of a whiteboard that I use in my office to keep track of appointments and tasks that I need to take care of in any specific week. The image on the right is a whiteboard calendar that I purchased at a local office supply store. It has an adhesive backing that won't damage your walls, and it's great because we hung it in our stairwell so that every day as we go up and down the stairs, we have a visual reminder of things that are coming up. Because this calendar functions like a whiteboard, you do have to go through and wipe it clean every month and then write out your activities for the next month. You can see here that I have split the calendar so that it encompasses part of February and March. But I really like that because I've created a ritual for myself where I sit down once a month and look at the month as a whole so that I really get the big picture of where our commitments are and where we need to carve out some time for ourselves. Then there are other days when you just need a post-it note. In our house, you'll often find a note stuck right to the door so that before you leave, you don't forget that really important thing you wanted to remember. If you're looking for a more long-term solution, you might consider purchasing a label maker. This is a great way to put a more permanent message exactly where you need it. In the examples we've looked at so far, you've seen a lot of words. Notice they're also on different types of paper. That's one way that we catch our visual attention by seeing that paper in a place we don't usually see one. And then we can read the words to get the message. Another option that you have is to give yourself a more visual cue. 
In this example, you see the green bin sitting in the floor right in the middle of the kitchen. When I see this green bin here, or when I set it out for myself, I know that I'm setting up a reminder to do some maintenance, and everything I need to do the maintenance is in that bin. Once the project is finished, I put the bin away. You do wanna be careful to make sure that you're not creating a trip hazard. We definitely wanna keep everyone safe. Now for me in my house, we're currently aging normally. But for some folks who may have difficulty reading, you can always look at using pictures as a way to let people know where things are. There are a lot of resources available on the internet where you can order kits that have stickers and signs that you can hang around your house. If you're interested in finding some of those resources, I will link those in the description of this video so you can check out ways other people are using these visual verbal cues to guide them throughout the day. The one thing that I did not address in this video is technology. There are a lot of really amazing resources out there available to people like Alexa and Siri, where folks can talk to these systems and get the information they need, or they can get verbal prompting about appointments that are coming up. I encourage you to go out on the internet and research those as well and see if there are some options that will work well for you. Lastly, I'd just like to encourage everyone to have fun with it. You've noticed in the notes that I've shared with you here today that we definitely keep our sense of humor around this house, but it's also a great way to use these notes just to let the other people around you know how much you care. If you've got any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the description or send us a message to info at tipasnow.com.